what's going on YouTube hometown fit is coming through I told you guys I had a vintage hat coming in a massive pickup off eBay uh, I found it on eBay and as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have it it's one of these ones you got to add to your collection if you're a vintage hat collector because um, man if you're a fan of this team you definitely got to add it to your collection as well because it is definitely one of those that you got to have and uh, man I, I found it on eBay I sent the, the guy a message he was a seller from uh, Denver um, he said that uh, he had it on his post on eBay that he didn't ship to Canada, so I sent him a message uh, asking him if he would ship and I'd be willing to pay and all this stuff. And he said, yeah, but I have to do it straight through PayPal, which is always okay with me because PayPal is still always a great backup to you as a seller, so you have nothing to fear. Uh, uh, PayPal is pretty good with dealing with the, uh, with the buyers. And uh, so anyway, um, I picked up the hat, I bought it from him, he shipped it. He said it was, he was going to ship it in a, in a bubble mailer, which is another thing. Or he could ship it in a box for a certain price. And I said, yeah, do it in the box because I don't like the bubble mailers because they can destroy the crown of the hat. Also, they could destroy the brim of the hat, which is basically solid and brand new. This hat is gorgeous. Before I get into that, though, I just want to say I'm wearing my BP jacket today. I got my first baseball practice. I'm excited about getting back into it. Um, last year, I, I didn't get a chance to play the season because of things that came up, work and whatever. I never got a chance to play last year, but I'm back at it this year. Really jacked about it. Um, before I get into the pickup, too, I want to send a couple of shout outs to a couple of my, uh, I don't know if one's a viewer of mine or a subscriber or not, but the other one is. So I want to send a shout out to On Field Fitted. Shout out to you, man. I know you love my fitted videos and I love your videos as well, man. You're always respectful on my, on my page and, and leaving nice comments or whatever. So shout out to On Field Fitted. And uh, shout out to another one as well, which is a hat collector. He gets like all these new era um, hats before they're even released to the public and all that. So shout out to Ricky Mon 25. Check him out on YouTube as well. Ricky Mon 25. He's got some great stuff. And uh, he actually picked up this hat. Um, new era gave him this hat as well, but uh, in the newer edition because they were just uh, bringing them out. Um, for the opening day for the team and it is a gorgeous hat. I'm gonna bring it I'm gonna pick up the camera and bring it closer to it to get a better look at it. And of course there it is. The Atlanta Braves hat. This is a 1979. This is a gorgeous hat. The way I know it's 1979, I posted on my hometown fitted page on Facebook, my fan page, um, that I was in talks with New Era about authenticating some of the dates on my hats. And uh, they said this one was the oldest one that I had shown them. Um, my socks hat that has the leather band, that's about a 94 to a 90, or sorry, an 83 to an 84. Uh, that Boston Red Sox hat is an 80 to an 82. And um, my Blue Jays hats are basically from 89 up to the early, very early 90s. And um, uh, what else other hats? Well, this one here, anyway, was a 1979 uh, from what the, um, the historian from New Era could tell. This is a gorgeous hat, super jacked about it. As you can see, the light just glistens off that logo. I love this lowercase a logo. It's a beautiful logo by Atlanta back in the day. Um, of course, Hank Aaron wore this logo as well. On the, and the jerseys that go with these hats are amazing. I know Mitchell Ness makes those jerseys, so take a look at them. There's a bunch of um, jersey heads that have the Atlanta Braves hat, uh, jerseys from, from this era as well. This is a gorgeous hat to go with it, of course. Anyway, so as you can see, you've got that beautiful crisp white that's all in behind the logo there for the face of the crown. You've got that beautiful blue that just pops right off the top of the brim right there the stitching that new era did on this logo you can just see it it's gorgeous i just love the look of that logo i can't get over it how great that looks for 1979 for this thing for being 34 years old it is definitely crisp anyways you can see you get the blue all the way around the crown all the way around the crown of the hat it goes all the way to the back that doesn't meet up with an mlb logo there of course you got the blue air holes on the back and then you got the uh on the side as well for the blue air holes and then you got the white air holes right there on the front on the, the face of the crown and of course that blue beanie gorgeous hat when you flip it upside down you got that crisp vintage green under brim right there now along with this hat i i authenticated it by looking at old baseball cards and uh, they also had a gray underbrim, which was early 70s and possibly into the 60s. The green underbrim ran from the late 70s into the 80s, um, very early 80s. And then they, then they, of course, got into the A with the, it was a blue hat with the, uh, with the um, capital A on it. It was a gorgeous hat as well. So let's open it up and take a look inside. This thing is crisp on the inside. 34 years old. Keep that in mind. 34 years old. And that sweatband is as brand new as the day it was made in 1970. 79. Of course, you got the old uh, DuPont visor on this one, weatherized, pre-shrunk, pro model, 
gorgeous tagging from New Era right there. You got the MLB licensing uh, uh, tag right there. And of course, you got the size, which is seven and an eighth. Uh, like I said, you got to go seven, one size up, uh, seven and a quarter, but seven and an eighth is my true size. And uh, of course, this one still passes as uh, authentic for myself to wear. Um, it's a little tight. I never wear them anyway, but I can get it on if I had to. And it is a gorgeous hat for 34 years old. Doesn't it look gorgeous for a hat? Love that look. Anyway, he also shipped it in that plastic bag there inside the box. Huge touch. Shout out to that seller from Denver. Shout out to you, man, if you're watching this video. And uh, man, what can I say? Amazing, amazing hat. Great shipping as well. Can't beat that. 34 years old. And still looks brand new. Peace!